Did you know that busy books for toddlers, like coloring and search and find books, are incredibly popular on Amazon KDP? Many publishers are earning thousands of dollars in royalties with these types of books. In today's video, I'll walk you through creating your busy book using Canva so you can start selling on Amazon KDP and build a stream of passive income. The best part? It's simple and can be done in under an hour. But before starting it, I'll introduce this tool called BookBeam. It gives publishers access to valuable information like search volume, daily sales, and audience demographics. This tool will allow you to make data-driven decisions, boosting your book's chances of ranking higher on Kindle. I've added a link to the description, so don't miss it. So, let's get ahead. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a dinosaur coloring book. Let's start by planning our coloring book, which will feature different types of dinosaurs to make it both fun and educational for kids. First, we need to decide on the book's specifications. I've also found a unique dinosaur coloring book template on Canva that's super cool and can save you a lot of time. However, it's only available for Canva Pro users. I'm going to show you how to create a dinosaur coloring book for free. So watch till the end. The first thing we need to do before designing is to establish the cover and page dimensions for our busy book. This is a crucial step because accurate dimensions will make your book look polished and meet the requirements of Amazon KDP. For this tutorial, we'll use 8.5 by 11 inches, giving us a rectangular book typical for a coloring book. However, you can choose any size that suits your preference. I'm going with this size as it's a common choice for coloring books. For the page count, I've set it to 12 for the sake of this video, but the number of pages is entirely up to you. Most coloring books have a minimum of 24 to 50 pages. Out of the 12 pages we're using, only 5 will be for coloring. The reason for this is that we need to ensure the backside of each coloring page is blank. This way, when kids are coloring, the ink won't bleed through to the next page. We definitely want to keep the backs of the coloring pages empty. We're adding two extra pages, including a This Book Belongs To page at the front, serving as a title page. For the book cover, we'll go with a paperback, which is the most common choice for coloring books. As for the interior, coloring books are typically black and white, so we'll stick with that for the inside pages. If you don't finalize the design and layout from the start, you may run into issues during printing, like margins being off or parts of your text or design getting cut off. Now, we need to enter these details on the Amazon KDP website. I've included a link in the description below that will take you directly to the Help Topics section, where you can find a page about trim size, bleeds, and margins. Scroll down a bit, and you'll come across a section called Bleed. Do you see this table? When a book's interior is marked as no bleed, it means there's a small margin around each page, leaving a white border. On the other hand, with bleed means that the content stretches all the way to the edges of the page, with no white border. I'll go with with bleed because it allows elements to extend all the way to the edge of the page. However, the choice is entirely up to your personal preference. Now, let's look at this table. You'll want to find the section titled Examples of Page Size With and Without Bleed for KDPAmazon.com. This table provides the exact page dimensions we'll need to input into Canva later to set up our interior pages properly, so we don't face issues when uploading to KDP for printing. Recalling again, we chose 8.5 by 11 inches for our book. And for that we will choose this 8.375 inches by 11.25 inches page size number for the bleed column. Now finally it's time to hop on over to Canva. Here, log in to your account. Go to Create a Design, select the custom size. Remember to change the unit from pixels to inches, and then type in your dimensions, which were 8.375 by 11.25. Click on Create a Design, and our page will be set up with the correct dimensions. Note that we're not quite done yet with the measurements. We still need to set up margins to ensure that no important elements get cut off during printing. To do this, 
Head back to the same KDP page and scroll down to the margins section. Since our book will have 12 pages and we've chosen the with bleed option, we'll need to use margins of 0.375 inches for our pages. Now, back in Canva, if you don't already have the rulers here, you can press Shift plus R to bring them out. You have to now drag the margin to around those 0.375 inches. It doesn't have to be exact, but it's better to be slightly over than under. To make the process easier, I zoomed in and selected a square. I adjusted its size to match the first margin, then copied and pasted it to align with all sides. Once the margins are in place, you can delete the shapes and your page will be ready. Since we have 12 pages, we'll need to duplicate this page 12 times. Once you've finished duplicating the pages, start by designing the first page, which will be the introductory This Book Belongs to page. Type This Book Belongs to at the top and leave a blank line underneath so kids can write their names. Feel free to add some fun graphics here, like leaves or any type of border that suits your theme. For this design, I'm adding borders along with details like mountains, trees, and dinosaurs. The second page, which is the backside of the introductory page, will remain blank. Our first coloring page will be on the third page. Next, go to the Elements section and click on Graphics Search for Dinosaur in the Keyword field. Initially I liked one graphic, but then changed my mind because this little dinosaur looked cuter and more children book friendly. To make our busy book more interesting, we can add the names of the dinosaurs. Unfortunately, Canva doesn't provide names for its dinosaur elements, but don't worry I have an alternative prepared for you. Before we move on, let's add some extra details to the image, such as leaves and grass. Alternatively, we could use this sunny theme graphic, which takes care of all those small details for us. Now that we're done, let's simply go to ChatGPT and ask for five different types of dinosaurs. I am using ChatGPT 4.0 here, which also allows us unlimited image generation. Next, I'll ask ChatGPT to provide a monoline image of each dinosaur. Here's the prompt I'm using. Hi ChatGPT, act like an expert children's coloring book artist and give me a black and white image in monoline form of a T-Rex dinosaur. Once you receive the image, download it and upload it to Canva. Adjust the image as needed and add the dinosaur's name using the Archivo Black font, which is great because it allows children to color the letters as well. Repeat this process for each coloring page until you have them all completed. Now it's time to design our book cover. To do that, we have to go to this Amazon KDP cover calculator, I have added the link in the description. Start by entering the information as I'm doing. For the binding type, select paperback. For the interior, choose black and white since we're making a coloring book and set the paper type to white paper. The page turn direction is typically left to right, so you'll read from the left page to the right. Make sure to use inches for the measurement units. For the interior trim size, enter 8.5 by 11 inches, which gives us the dimensions for a rectangular book. Set the page count to 24, then click on Calculate Dimensions and download the template. The file will be downloaded as a zip file containing three files. The one we need is the PNG file. Open the PNG file to view the cover template that has been generated. Now, let's head back to Canva to set up the cover. Click on Create a Design and select Custom Size. Make sure to change the units from pixels to inches. Enter the dimensions from the cover template, 17.304 by 11.25 inches. Click Create New Design, and your template will be ready to use. Begin by adding a background to the template. You can select any background you like. In this example, I choose a red background. Now, you can start designing your cover. Add text, like the heading The Dinosaur Journey. I also added these random graphics of dinosaurs that I found in the Canva Elements section. Adjust any elements as needed, such as repositioning a character's legs to ensure they aren't cut off. 
Once you're satisfied with the design, restore the transparency to its original level. To finalize your cover, download it so you can upload it to Amazon KDP along with the interior pages we created earlier. Click Share, then select Download Choose PDF Print as the file type and make sure to flatten the PDF. For the color profile, select CMYK, which is ideal for printing. If you're using a free Canva account, RGB will also work well. Once everything is set, click Download and you're ready to go. To upload your book to Amazon KDP, log into your KDP account. If you don't have one, create it first. Click on Create and choose Create Paperback. For the books categories, choose the most fitting ones, such as children's books and activities, crafts and games. Finally, set your book's price, considering the printing cost and your desired royalty. Amazon will automatically adjust the price for other marketplaces. Once you're happy with your settings, click Publish and allow up to 72 hours for your book to go live on Amazon. And that's it! You've successfully created your own busy book using Canva and are now ready to start selling and earning passive income. I'm excited to see what you create, so share your experience in the comments. And for a detailed tutorial on how to make lo-fi channel and earn passive income, check out this video next.